um it is actually a fun night guys like if you are not watching you are actually sitting on a fat long thing but do not worry your favorite blogger is here to dissect everything with you all and everything that played down the lifting tax hey baby how are you all doing welcome back to sale with me shirley mimi where you get the gist as it they do waiting as it they hurt of course you know there's no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel if you snooze you do what you lose are you yet to subscribe to this channel or are you sitting on a fat long thing kindly push right there subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell if not tell me how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot like how do you want to get the gist as it they hurt so guys Guys, talking about the gist as it are hot. If you are a fervent um viewer of um Big Brother, right? If you've been watching Big Brother from time, you would know that there is one tax. Maybe say if they hear I mean no say choke in everything they do. And one one of those tax is lifting tax. So lifting tax came up with its full glory, and Biggie asked the head of us to come to the diary room, you know, and it was about the lifting tax, and then uh, it says the brief says that the housewife will have to, you know, send out a, a message, you know, to somebody like maybe a family or a friend, you know, that you want to reconnect with, you know, and then secondly, you would have to send a message from to an ex-housemate that you want to reconnect with you get so that was the message and the housemates were given few minutes to actually you know write whatever they want to write they were given a pen a paper they had to write whatever they want to write to the person you know while they were present in the arena but guys can you see the decoration in the arena if there is one sweet thing um biggies and it production know how to do including all those brand sponsors and eh, is how to decorate the arena you would see the arena like this this minute the next minute you see the arena with another different shape you'll be wondering is it the same arena that is empty is it the same arena where the house may do their their sports every morning is it the same arena where they do their hoh game in fact each game every week every i'm saying every week every day is lit upon lit like biggie they are really doing too much on this one so after the housemates were given time you know to write up whatever they want to write and then biggie asked them to go to the arena guys their eyes could not believe how unimaginable the arena has transformed to something else you know they were so wow they were so surprised even i as a viewer was just smiling or true of course I was expecting it from Lipton. If there are some tasks we're looking forward to was Pepsi, we're looking forward for lip to Lipton, looking forward to Innocent. And do not forget Innocent tasks would also be on Friday, so do not mix that one. So while the housemate got to the arena and it was time to give out their speech, you know, so the first person Biggie called was Ilebaye, you know. So the first speech Ilebaye gave the, was for her mom. She said her mom has always thought that she loved the dad more than her. I'm like, wow. For a parent to think this, that means the, the level of closeness with herself and her dad is quite on another level for her mom to say that. And she said she knows that her and her mom has a lot of arguments that they've argued so much you know that the mom would feel like oh my child do not really like me and all of that she remember when she left home she was just narrating her ordeal with her mom you know how things has not been going smoothly like a child and daughter it may seem as though Baya has been a very stubborn child of course what is happening in biggie's house would tell you that she already said it to big brother anyways that she actually a headache to her parents you know so as she said it that she told one of the housemates that it was time she left home but sapa make her come back house <laughs> i could not remember the housemate she was discussing that with yeah so she just narrated everything and said she's here to tell her mom that she loves her so much that she could not ask for a better mom that in her next world she still want to have her as her mom i am very sure wherever her mom is she would be smiling and she'll be proud of her and then, of course, you guessed right to so the ex housemate Ilebae Rotsu was doing. She pulled out her heart and told Doi that she is one person who got her back, you know. Even when she did not stand for herself, that Doi got her, that Doi was always there, sacrificed her time for her, you know, be there for her, even lost friendship with some of the housemates because of her, that she, it is something she's really proud of, you know. And then she just sent a shout out and said thank you, that she can't wait to come out outside and reconnect to Doi, you know, so that they could make up because they could not make up inside of the house. Do you think Ilebae and Doi, there is a friendship for them outside of the house? Anyways, we'll see how that plays out. And then the next person was Pere. 
Perek kicked it off with the mom, you know, Sandy. Of course, Perek have been worried of his mom lately. You know, he said that before he came to the house, the mom was actually not feeling well. You know, if you watch today, she even, he was even telling Cross to help us be brother. Please hope the mom is okay because he did not see the mom on the message from home so she, he, he kind of was worried on about his mom hope my mom is fine and all of that so he sent his shout out to the mom and say that he can't wait to come back and have a conversation with the mom on how those few months he has not been around has been with her and then the ex housemate Pere wrote to was Kimopra mm -hmm. Pere wrote on how Kimopra left and how he was thinking Kimopra would not leave but yes she still did left you know and then how they connect and how they are close and how they have one of whether they shared whatever they shared of course you know whether was it bangles I know they shared an item the camera showed herself when that was happening so why Perel was actually <laughs> saying whatever he was saying to about Kim. He needed to see Cross face. I'm like, hey, I hope this Kim not gonna be a problem for these two outside of the house. So you know, so and then Cross and Perel was like that he can't wait to go outside so that he would actually just with her his G, which is Kim Opera. And then the next person to go was CC. So CC spoke about a friend whom she did not mention the name, you know. She spoke about a friend on how growing up and everything was with like, you know, how things turned out for them, how they were no longer, how the person was kind of understandable, but at a point it may seem as though she it looks like it, there was no caring from her own part, but that she cannot wait for them to reconnect and you know get to get talking again. And then to her the ex housemates, guess what? Um CC dedicated it to kid wire you know she spoke about how kid wire is a good friend and never even brag about it and how kid wire is always there for her even when she said kid wire is not a good cook the guy still cook for her even you know, you know she just said a lot and say hopefully when she comes out comes out maybe kid wire will lodge her in a co hotel and suite <laughs> and also the and how she he promised the housemates whatever he promised them hope that she's gonna get hers you know she just said whatever she said but people are coming for cc they are like how can you be writing this to kid wire in that house the person you bonded more with is ek so how come you're writing to kid, you know? And she said something about in a in the house where friendship is a strategy. Who who they, who they throw this straight like that in a house where friendship is a strategy? She said something about that, but it is what it is. So do you think? <laughs> I was this him out eh? though people are coming for her on the social space so that is EK that she's supposed to write so I'm like no now go tell her person where she go write to which kind of hala be this one now and then Adekule was next Adekule wrote to a long time friend whom they were not talking anymore I think maybe he said since 2020 you know and he also said on how he cannot wait to reconnect with that said friend you know so that they would get to discuss how life has turned out for the both of them and then the person the ex housemates he wrote for of course you guess right is Venita you know before then the housemates were complaining already about all the things he wrote and why it's too much and I remember Messi telling Venita that Adekule sent message more true text like writing you know than more than he speak so i think maybe that's why he wrote whatever he wrote and he sent out how um venita is emotional how she wears her hat on her sleeve how she cares about people and even people she cares about hurt her and all of that and also send out a mother of two kids you know he was not even sounding in a romantic in romantic way or anything he was just being plain you know just hyping venita of a good friendship that she was to him you know and how she made he stay in Biggie's house quite enjoyable and he said that he cannot wait to go outside of the house and reconnect with Venita. So it is giving, Adenita is loading just like this. Some gel are giving us joy right now outside of the house, at least for the time being. <laughs> At least for the time being, though, know, some gel is giving um the some gel ship as it bra um, bragging right right now. So I think Adenita will still smile too because the feeling is mutual where both of them is. Venita in her interview said she would wait until Adekule comes out, and Adekule on the other hand is saying now that he cannot wait to reconnect with Venita. You see, Lipton, you do this one. No, anyways, the next person was Messi, aka you know Messi when the person Messi wrote towards her mom. 
you know she spoke about how when she wants to come to the house the mom never wanted her to because she's still new in this uh, widowhood you know <laughs> you know where the, the morning is still fresh and everything but she told the mom that she will be back soon and then seeing the video the message from home and seeing her mom then it was sure that her mom is fine and that she cannot wait to see her because that video made her miss her mom more you understand and she now said mom i have promised you that you will never suffer i would always put a smile on my face then there is a word she used that until she dies that she would always put a smile on the mom's face you know people are like uh -uh, which kind of english be this one I <laughs> oh my people are funny oh. people are funny and that how can you say you die before your mom and all of that but she's just trying to what she's the message she's giving there is that she still as in she would make sure she would do everything humanly possible to you know make her mom happy that is what the message is giving so yeah and then the ex-husband she wrote to is otami me one white money you know i've asked you guys mercy just you know gravitates towards white money and was talking about white money a lot these days especially this final week white money white money everywhere you know and she said that how she and white money planned you know on climbing that stage on offering the light together of them being the final two but he should not worry that she is here to actually see off the light for the both of them you know send out that she cannot wait to come out so that they would reconnect you know and um people are coming for mercy too like they've been coming for mercy and cc <laughs> after this lifting tax they said uh uh mercy which one be this one be say you and white money this person you're supposed to write to is fraud and in my mind i'm like would you people tell this house whom they should write to or whom they should not write to make not free them i beg everyone is just counting on the housemates words so that they would no one they would use on them anyways cross was the last person to present his speech his speech went straight to the mom of course we all know that cross use every opportunity he has to talk about his mom so his speech went to the mom you know send out how strong the mom is and everything you know and then a speech to the ex-housemate of course you know kimopra so it is giving Pere and cross this same kimopra again you know he spoke on how he cannot wait to go outside there he spoke on how they went for shopping for something i'll be mean, something expensive can you call can you call you know how they went there how their mem the memories they've shared and how kimopra has made everything easy for it that he was actually struggling previous week before until kimopra came and kimopra made everything easy for him you know made eating making the bed laying the bed and all of that easy for him that he cannot wait to reconnect then afterwards it is danced live band came they started dancing and biggie said the best dance would actually be rewarded you know so the housemates started giving it dance like come and see dance from different tribe and of course biggie lips and lips really tried though you know the housemates were looking so sweet and the best outfit for me i think is that of cc i love cc's dress which one is your best outfit let me know you know the housemates were looking peng, you know, they were looking so sweet, you know. And people are coming for Baye. They say for the very first time, Baye is looking good. At least she's not looking like a housemaid and all of that. You know, so the live band was giving dance. Every the housemates were dancing, dancing. They just they joke, they go, they dance, they go. And then Biggie, when the time is up, Biggie was trying to say live band. <laughs> They did not hear because they were having fun. You know, Biggie called on the housemate first. They did not hear. Call on the live band. They did not see here until he calmed down a bit <laughs> and later called on them. I think they later, you know, heard. So last, last, Biggie said it is time for item seven that he's very sure that the housemate actually danced away the, the food they ate so they should eat. Guys, come and see food. Or more lips in too much, I beg. You know, so the housemates are actually eating. So before they want to eat, Biggie now announced the results. Biggie was like, something to celebrate more about the person that had the best speech was Pere and then the the best dancer was Cross sorry sorry Adekunle you see the way I mentioned Cross first when Big, before Biggie could announce the best dancer the husband were saying Cross 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 and Biggie gave it to Adekunle but if Ilebai was the person Biggie has given this you would have seen murmuring you would have seen people complaining waiting she dance waiting she do this waiting she do that you know nobody she's supposed to win now but calling Adekunle nobody complained because it is not a labor that was mentioned. This is an example for you guys to see how partial, you know, this housemate can be. I just make a drop this one here. How did it go? How did you enjoy? Did you watch the Lipton um, tax? Did you enjoy it? Did you dance with the housemate? Just me. Hope you had a bottle of Lipton. Why, you know, watching the housemate? Let's talk in the comment section. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for sailing with me. It's a goodbye from here.